Let's talk about why you decided to run. I decided to run for the board because I attended a junior college and it really gave me the time to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. I started out in one degree program and then went to college for a different degree program. And it just, I know how important it is to have a few years after high school to be an adult for a little while and learn some things. And junior colleges have a wonderful role in our community. We've been living here in Marion for, well, in this area for three years. And I wanted to give back to this community that's given a lot to us in the past few years. So. so one of the questions that stuck out to me the most this evening is what you think needs to be focused on the most here right mm -hmm. now? What do you think, um, if you come to the table, what you will bring? Coming to the board, I'll bring a really intense focus on the students themselves, their experience, but more importantly, what they're learning, because the point of being here is to get an education to go out and be productive. So it doesn't do you any good to go to class if you don't ever learn anything. So having the right faculty in place, having the right administration in place to make all of those pieces work together, that's the most important thing. And also encouraging the faculty to be innovative in how they assess what's being learned. Some people are really good at taking tests, but when you get them out in the real world, it doesn't always work the same way. So finding those ways to make sure that they're learning what they need to learn for the future. Why do you think, why should people vote for you? People should vote for me be, in a lot of, in some ways, because I'm not from this area. I'm from Southern Illinois still, but I'm, I don't necessarily have some of the connections that other people have listed as an issue for the board currently. And I, but by the same token, I have a lot of experience in serving on boards. I have been in education for a long time. I have a master's degree, and so I've been a student for a long time. I know how to teach as part of having that degree. So really voting for me is just a way to help get some fresh ideas onto the board here. Um, another point that I just want to bring up is um, the budget that uh, the budget cuts a few years ago, mm -hmm. how that really affected this college. If, ha if you had to go through that again, how is kind of the way that you would take that into consideration and handle that? Budget cuts are always the worst thing to have to deal with, and really you have to stay focused on what the core is, and the core again is the students and what they're here to learn. So any cuts that come have to be from areas that will not affect the students and what they're learning. It might mean that we have to shorten the list of degrees that we offer in order to keep offering a, the highest level of education possible, but really that would be the last resort. The first things are some of those issues that people like, that they love, the extra things that are really you can do without in order to stay focused on the education. Let's start with why you decided to run. This is why I decided to run for the John A. Logan board. The, I, I was a John A. Logan student and the reputation of the school, the image of the school uh, in our area has been tarnished in recent years. Uh, enrollment is has been dropping and is continuing to drop and so there's a, there's a real problem here and the school means a lot to me as the, the first place that I attended. Uh, a lot of faculty members that were my teachers still work here and are affected by what's going on and I, I just uh, saw an opportunity to really help right the institution. You don't mind me asking how many years ago you were here? If oh yeah. Me uh, so in actuality it was uh, 18. Okay, perfect. Um, why should people vote for you? Why should people vote for me? Yep. Uh, I am a former student of this school. I spent part of my career as an educator, uh, and I went back to school, got a master's degree in business, and uh, own a small business in Marion. So what I think I'm uniquely qualified to do is bring the educational piece and the business management piece together to help the school. Let's talk about some of the major points that were brought up this evening, such as the budget cuts. Um, when I was writing my questions down today, this college went underwent some major budget cuts uh, when the budget had their impasse a few years ago. When you have to come to the table if elected, what would you kind of suggest? How to not take 55 jobs away but still keep this as a great college, sorry, sure, university? Sure, sure. Uh, so what John A. Logan did was unlike what any other local community college 
did. They all faced the same problems. Uh, John A. was unique in their approach, and that approach was not consulting with faculty members, not being transparent in how they were going about the cuts. So what, what you would get from me, uh, worst case scenario, same situation, the John A. Logan community would go through it together. It wouldn't be done on an island uh, targeting staff members. It would be done collaboratively because the teachers in the classroom know what's going to have the most impact, not board members who show up once a month. And my final question is, if elected, what do you think needs to come to the table? Is there anything that you would fix immediately when you come here? What are major things that you're looking at that we need to tweak this, we need to tweak that? So student services and retention are, are the biggest issues uh, here. And it's not an issue as much as it affects enrollment. And enrollment affects everything else. Uh, what I would love to see, and I talked about it tonight, is an increase in the ratio of basically guidance counselors to students uh, so that the students here don't get lost in the cracks of the system. Uh, but are, are monitored and uh, kind of supervised through their entire career here at Logan. So first off, why you decided to run for the board? Well, um, I was talking with some of the trustees at one point and asking, you know, how things were going since the last election. And, and uh, I've lived in Carterville for 29 years, so I'm very versed in what's going on on the campus and realize how much this campus and this college uh, means to our economy here in Carterville. And lastly, uh, I've had two brothers and a sister that all went through John A. Logan. My uh, daughter went through John A. Logan. My dad was on the foundation board for 20 plus years, I think close to 30 years. And he established a scholarship in our family name for a Murfreesboro student to go to the college. And that's why I really started realizing that deep down I wanted to make sure that a student in Murfreesboro received this scholarship and said, yes, I want to go to John A. Logan and not look at it as a last resort, but look at it as a first resort. And that was the primary reason for finally uh, making that decision to get involved. Um, my next question is, um, why should people vote for you? Well, I believe I uh, bring a business experience, um, as well as, again, I've lived in Carterville for 29 years. I understand the campus. I know uh, many of the faculty and staff that have worked here. Um, I know what, in 29 years, I know what John A. Logan has been and where John A. Logan is today. Um, by bringing the business experience to it, Everything that we do is based on a measured response. We have to set goals, we have to measure those goals, and we have to achieve those goals. And I think we've lost out on that when we uh, talk about the community college. We just look at it from a teaching experience, which most certainly we should do. But we should also be measuring. Um, and right now, if you look at measurements, the enrollment has still been declining over the past three years. And that has to stop. Uh, we have to stop the bleed and we have to find ways to bring students back to our campus and make John A. Logan a thriving uh, primary source of uh, college experience as well as business experience in our, in our area. If the, uni I keep saying university, if the college had to go through what they did a few years ago with the budget impasse and 55 layoffs, sure. what would kind of be your idea to avoid 55 people losing Absolutely. their jobs? Absolutely. Great question. And I think, and, and as I mentioned tonight, uh, we now live in a defunct state. Um, if you are in the financial industry like myself, you understand what it means when we're rated on a junk bond status, when the state of Illinois is spending more money than it comes in. So for us to think that we're never going to have that experience again is just absolutely wrong. Uh, there are going to be times, maybe it won't be 55 layoffs, there may be a period of time where we have to look at 10 layoffs. And again, I bring the business experience to it where we have to look at a measured response. Before we do any layoffs, we have to look at what is going to have the most impact on operations, what is going to have the least impact on operations. We've got to join with faculty and with staff and to say, okay, we don't want to make these cuts, but we need to find out where can we make the cuts. Can we make the cuts in non-personnel first? Um, if that doesn't cut deep enough, okay, where do we start making cuts? Can we do with one less faculty in this area? Can we do with one less faculty in this area? Do we have a program that's not even functioning where we need to cut that program out? So it's all hands on deck, 
all people on deck, um, when you have a fire on a ship, you don't see certain people going out to put the fire. Yes, you have the firemen that are there on the ship that are called the firemen, but you also have the bridge and everybody on the deck who's manning the hoses, manning everything to try to put the fire out. And that's the concept we got to bring to John A. Logan whenever, or any business when you're going to be faced with cuts. You have to have a, a measured policy and you have to look at that in a sane way and not look at um, who we can cut and who we can get rid of uh, because these are people's lives and families that are at play. So. My final question is, if elected, are there any things that you want to come in here and do minor tweaks at or anything that you see that needs to change immediately? The key that I want to do uh, when I've been on any board is I want to uh, circulate with public, I want to circulate with staff, and I want to circulate with faculty to do a SWOT analysis. You know, I, again, coming from a business, business background, uh, we're always going to look at the SWAT possibility. What are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? What are our opportunities? And so that's one thing that I, I don't think our board gets out and meets with the public enough. I don't think we have enough public or, or we ask for enough public opinion. Uh, yes, we have a very short window at the board meeting that says, do we have public opinion? But people are so afraid at that point in time. So I want to have public meetings. I want to get out there and engage people. I want to be involved in the chamber. I want to be involved in business uh, opportunities where I talk to people and say, how can I help bring the Logan experience to the business community? How can I bring the business ex uh, experience to Logan? And how can we all bring students to Logan? How many years have you been on the board? I, I've been on the board for two terms. I'm running presently uh, running for my, my third six-year term as trustee. I have been the chairman of the board um, twice for two two-year terms. Okay. Why did you decide to run almost three times almost 18 years ago? Oh boy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, L Logan, Logan's been important in my life. I have I've children that, that have gone to Logan. Um, I've gone to Logan. Um, it, it, it's a great institution. I thought I had something to offer. You know, my whole career has been um, protecting people's lives, their property, their assets. Um, you know, I do the same thing here at Logan, protect their taxes, protect their, their, their kids' uh, education, make sure that, that things are running right, make sure that rules are followed. You know, that's, that's what I do. And when you came on board, <coughs> were there any thing major, any major things that had to be fixed right away was, I mean, you can probably tell me that you've gone through a lot of changes over the past 18 years. What have you seen the biggest changes? Actually, actually, only 12 years now. Eight, oh, um, that's right. 18 yeah. would be 12. Okay. Thank you for the correction. That's okay. That's okay. Um, no, there, you know, Logan, Logan was pretty flush um, back, uh, back 12, year, 12 years ago. I mean, we were, we were pretty flush. You know, the board members would go to, uh, to uh, ACCT, um, conferences, which is the, um, the conference for trustees, um, national conferences. We would go to Washington, D.C. We would go to Seattle. We would go to San Antonio. We would go to uh, um, San Diego. Um, we would go to, uh, the, you know, to Florida. Um, we didn't do that after we ran out of money. Um, there has been no trustee uh, from after 2016 uh, went to have gone to any of those conferences so we you know we, we you know everybody's tightened their belt and the trustees have tightened their belt also so you were around for that 55 employee cut a couple years ago absolutely and you know do you believe that that was the right decision and if it came to that again hoping it doesn't would you do anything different Oh boy, um, you know, I, th I think we followed state statute. I think we followed the uh, collective bargaining agreements. Um, you know, I, I, th I think we, we, uh, we talked about it, we uh, prayed about it, we, uh, um, we slept on it. Uh, we listened to every, every employee. We had a big meeting in, in, our, in, our, uh, uh, in our auditorium where every employee that wanted to, uh, that was affected, came and, and told their story. Um, it was hours and hours and hours. It was heart wrenching. It was it was um, it was awful uh, to hear, and um, you know we had every intent 
of hiring people back when we could. And when we could, we did hire everybody back. And everybody that, um, that has been laid off that, that didn't take another job elsewhere has been hired back. And now, what do you think is one of the main things when it comes to John A. Logan that needs to be addressed? Is, is there something that sticks out? You know, I, I, think, I think we're doing really well right now. I think faculty and staff um, are happy. Uh, I think administration is great. I think the unions are doing well. Um, you know, we are constantly looking at um, recruitment of students. We're constantly looking at retention of students going into the high schools, uh, talking to the kids, touting, you know, Logan. You know, like I, I said here, 52% uh, of all co uh, high school seniors uh, in this district are coming to Logan, which is, which is pretty good. We need to go into the junior highs to, uh, to get uh, the junior high kids to wrap themselves around, their minds around a, a college education. Um, and uh, I, I think that uh, this is the gem of Southern Illinois. And uh, like I said, uh, things have changed a lot when uh, uh, in, 19, in 1882 when John A. Logan said uh, to education we must look. Um, you know, things have changed a lot with computers and, and uh, social media. But I think that uh, uh, we are constantly being able to retool. Uh, we re retooled when, uh, when Heron um, they lost the Maytag plant and all those people lost their jobs. Retooled to help all those people come to come to Logan and and, and, uh, and and get an education where they can get probably get another job you know um, the faculty and staff's been tremendous here and that was what was so heartbreaking that you know they are so tremendous and to uh, you know to see those people go and to be laid off but we did give them you know kind of a severance package you know to try to soften the blow and, and, and um, you know nothing softens the blow of being rift um, reduction enforced but uh, uh, we tried to do whatever we could to uh, to try to soften that blow. My final question is, why should people vote for you? Well, I think that uh, that I've got experience. Um, I've got uh, uh, talk is cheap. You know, I've demonstrated my ability for the past 45 years here in this district, uh, both as a Carbondale police officer, both as a, a sheriff with s with six unprecedented four-year terms as, uh, as Jackson County Sheriff, second longest sheriff, serving sheriff in Southern Illinois. People have seen what I've done. Um, we, we have no more um, uh, closed session uh, minute, uh, meetings here at John A. Logan. Promises kept. Promises made were promises kept. And, uh, and, and if, if, if elected, I can, will continue to do that.